Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the Lighten Blend Mode. And as a reminder, Blend Modes have a base layer underneath, a Blend layer on top with a Blend formula, which is a Blend Mode. In this case it is Lighten, and it results in the result layer that you see. The Lighten Blend Mode is in the Lighten Group of Blend Modes, and unsurprisingly they make pictures lighter. And they're also opposites, almost direct opposites, of the Darken Blend Modes. So, if you've got a layer here, which is grey, and another layer here, which is a lighter grey, and you apply the Lighten Blend Mode, unsurprisingly what you get to see is the lighter layer. These two layers, by the way, if you swapped, they would still be the lighter layer, whichever position it is. This is called commutative. Not all blend modes act that way. Now then, if you've got an X on the bottom layer in white, and the top layer, they're the same, so the base and the blend, then what you get to see is this, which is the light here is taken in the background from the top layer, but in the bottom layer, the X is white, which is lighter than the top layer, so it comes through, and this is effectively blending two layers together. The calculation for it, very briefly, is that it's done not just at the pixel layer, but at each of the red, green and blue layers. So the red in the base layer is compared with the, the red in the blend layer to give you the red in the result layer, and so on. Let's have a look at that. So you get red, green and blue in the base layer, in each pixel, something like this. And then in the blend layer, something maybe completely different. So you get these. And then you can compare them. So the red and the red here are compared to give you which is going to be the greatest one here because that's the lightest one. It's like the volume control on a torch making it lighter and brighter. So the red wins there, the green wins there. But over here, the blend, the blue from there comes in. So you get effectively a different combination of red, green and blue to give you a different colour. So let's have a look how it works. Here I've got a couple of rectangles I'm going to drag over here to see these in combination. So if I pick the this rectangle here, you can see that it's got red at 200, green at 100 and blue at 50. And on this one down here, the red is now 50, the green is 100 and the blue is 200. So in the light and blend mode, it's going to look for the highest value in each. So in this one, red is 50. In this one, red is 100, so 200. So it's going to pick the 200 from this one. In green, they're both 100, so it has 100. And in the blue, in the brown here, this is 50, but in the other one, it's 200. So you're going to get 200, 100, 200. So let's do that. If I take the blend mode of this, change this to lighten, and then drag this up here. The colour in the overlap there is where they're blended together. And if I drag the pipette down from here, you can see there it's 200, 100, 200. Now then, just compare this with the darken blend mode. If I go to darken, see here this is a different colour. This is because it's taking the lower values. So it's going to be 50, 100, 50. If I drag that down there, there you go, 50, 100, 50. Take an image here. Let's park that back up there. And if I take this layer here, hit Control J, change the blend mode here to lighten. Nothing happens, and this is because the Layers are the same, so it can't find one which is lighter than the other, so you don't get any changed effect. What you can do here, if I draw a rectangle here, I'm going to draw that over the whole picture. And whatever that was before, let's just make that go to white. There we go. And fill the picture. There we go. Now then, I'm going to change that to lighten. And nothing's happened here because it's looking for the lighter colour and white is on top. So white always wins. White could be underneath, it would still win. 
And if I change that, however, to the dark and blend mode for contrast, you can't see the white at all. And that's because it's looking for the dark, darker colours, because so white always loses, so it's the opposite. And if in that darken there, I change the fill here to black, then black comes out, uh, it wins the competition. And I go back to lighten. And now black is effectively transparent. Now then, let's to show an application I'm going to show a lot more in a video afterwards is if I draw a gradient from the bottom corner here up to the top corner there. I take the gradient and make the bottom one, that one white, and the top one there, make that one black. And the black is transparent, so you don't see anything there. We get a lot of white at the bottom here, which is makes this layer. This is a bit strong, so what I can do is I can just use the opacity and turn that down and to a layer where, level where it's useful. In fact, it's useful to start from the bottom and just work your way up until it's OK, then a bit too much and then back it off a bit. And there, so if I take that gradient off, so you can see it. There's that, there's before, there's after. And it's just lightened up those slightly darker areas. Anyway. That's it, so we'll just have a look at the key points. And so overall it's a simple way of lightening a picture. And the screen blend mode is often used, it can be better, but this, this blend mode also has some particular uses. It, uh, if you've got the same colour on both, there's nothing happens, so you can't do anything with like just a duplicate and a blend. Dark is a transparent, or black is, you can see is transparent, and, and all bl light and blend modes are the same on that. White, on the other hand, always wins, and always comes out on top. Um, a useful tip is, when doing something, try reducing the opacity. You can offer also often get something which is useful, particularly on this, where the white is normally just too much by itself. And it is an opposite in many ways to the dark and blend mode, and you can often use them together to create useful effects. Anyway, that's it for now and thank you very much for watching.